burst into flames. So time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Loading going. I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um, why don't you check with them next time? Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of Neb No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any No, Drax! Rocket, what's up with these boots? I thought you fixed them. I made a valiant effort. There's only so much you can do when parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to nowhere. Either way, stop complaining. Stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. Wow. Charming. Rocket, any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Just had to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. Inside an upset stomach. More torium. Ugh. That'll give me indigestion. Yeah. No engines here.
What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket. Make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there fun. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Mind if I do. I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing! Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man!
Our lives depend on it. Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Just, please, focus on your own things. We have to get as light as possible, so it's time for some hard choices. Ah, they don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh. That's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. I'm sure it must have been tough. It was. Supremely. But after you entered me... <laughs> yeah, I, I entered your mind, right? I knew it was the right thing. Well, at least you actually listened to me. Unlike some people. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just... just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh man. Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? I spent money buying all this stuff. Well, not this. I stole this. Then you can simply buy more. I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a... trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. 
He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. Let's see what we got over here. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. You know, this toy was a good primer, but I've upgraded to the real deal. Accept no substitutes. <laughs> My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They help me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They help me to relax. And given we're inside a giant monster... This stuff is staying. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. Well... The dream of a Guardian's baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away. To help the team. Even though you said these things are valuable, including that leather hand. Here. You can start your own collection of odds and ends. That you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Looks like you kept a few things. Only the essentials. I guess this is a case where half-assed is better than no-assed. I'm actually a little surprised he came back with anything. My ego's swelling here. All right, since you're not absolutely pathetic, I'll ditch the guns. Hmm. Fine. Same with my swords. I am Groot. Man, that is... really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. Ugh, fine. Keep it. Oh, no thank you. The frustration you're feeling teaches me that things aren't worth the emotional baggage. Here. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Rocket. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even with everything we're ditching, it's still gonna be close. We want to play it safe. We gotta to toss it. We'll need the beat. You'll see. Trust me. Have I steered us wrong yet? Don't answer that. Just the trust thing. Do that. Better hope one of those engines is in more pristine condition than it looks, Quill. That's the spirit. See? We need hope. And music. Who's ready to take off? Ready to attempt it, I suppose. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I install the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly.
ready to bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta... Uh, pick an exit. Uh... Are you actually implying... Yes. This worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I... am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? It is the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano, uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's, uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Ugh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth, too. I think going out the front end is best. Everything barfs. We'll just make it do that. You wish to reverse this creature's digestive tract? The path of least resistance would be... Do not say colon! You just said colon! <laughs> I'm going to fly now! It's working! And it's gonna be gross. Still beats the alternative. How do you know? Just get us out alive, please. No problem. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Projectile vomiting. Back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's gotta be you. Uh, fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Hold on. I, I don't think that's a second. One, two, three. Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. 
Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's gotta be you. I'm fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the way. Ready? Uh, I don't think that's a safe One, two, three. Okay, P, I gotta break this thing! Hold on to something! Rocket, don't you dare! Is it going, Quill? You still with us? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Good. Now, when you get to the engine, all you gotta do is hit the big blinky button on the side. Can you handle that? Yes, Rocket, I think I can manage the simple task of... Hey! 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 family, like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. I told my daughter to come find me. Here I am now. I will go alone into battle, 
and slice this beast from mouth to colon. You will not have a good day. Well, you better do something quick down there. The ship's breaking up. Please, Peter, give me this. Drax. We're losing engine power. I am. We can't keep this up. Tell me what I have to do. Hit the button once I am inside. I will take care of the rest. Thank you. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Goodbye. Goodbye, Quill. <laughs>